Hi everyone, Unboxingalism here and welcome back to my channel. In this quick video, I want to share with you how you can use a keyboard which was designed to be used with a Windows PC on your Mac device. Let's start it. Before I start it, there is one important thing I need to mention. On the Apple Magic Keyboard there are so-called modifier keys, for example the command, option, shift, control. As you can see, on a Magic Keyboard the modifiers order is the following, control, option and command. On a Windows Keyboard the modifiers order looks differently, control, Windows and the alt keys are the order. For example, if you want to copy something on a Magic Keyboard, you need to press the Command C keys. But on a Windows Keyboard, you need to press the Windows C keys. The difference is that on a Magic Keyboard, the modifier is the third one, and on a Windows Keyboard, it is the second one. For me, this difference totally messed up my muscle memory, because I get used pressing the third one key, and I always use the wrong combinations, not to mention that this combination feels uncomfortable. But let me show you a great tip. Go to System Preferences, then Keyboard, and select Modifier Keys. In this list select your keyboard. Now it's time to rearrange them. Next to the Option, select the Command, and next to the command, select the option from the menu and press the OK button. As you can see, now the Alt functions as the command and your Windows button will be the Option key and you can use the good old shortcuts. At the end of my video, as always, I want to give you some useful tips. Now I will share you the most common shortcuts which I use in my daily life. The Alt-C is copy the selected content into the clipboard. The Alt-V is paste the copied item from the clipboard. The Alt-X is cut the selected content. If you want to undo the changes, use the Alt-Z. It is important to mention that for some reason, you can use the Alt-X shortcut with files, but the copy, the paste, the undo functions work with them. The next useful shortcut is the Alt-A. It will select everything in the file or in a notes. I think one of the most frequently used shortcuts for me is the Alt-F. It will open the search bar in most applications like Notes, Word, Safari and so on. I really like using the Alt-S, which activates the save functions in most applications. If you want to close the front window, just press the Alt-W. But if you want to just hide the front window, just press the Alt-H. To print a document, just press the Alt-P button. If you need a new document or a file, just press the Alt-N keys. To use the Spotlight search, you need to press the Alt and the Space keys. In order to open the Emoji tool, just press the Ctrl, the Alt and the Space. There could be cases when you need to force close an application. Press the Windows Alt and Escape and close the application. You can switch between the applications with the Alt tab. You can create screenshots with the following shortcuts. Alt Shift 3 will be capture your entire screen. The Alt Shift 4 will screenshot your selected area from the screen. If you are enjoying the video so far, just take a second and click on the subscribe button, it really does help growing my channel. Thank you. 
The R Shift 5 will open the screenshot tool. In this tool you can capture the entire screen, capture selected window or capture selected portion. Here you can record your screen as well. I want to show you the option menu. You can customize your recording like add the timer or select your microphone and so on. You can lock your screen with the Ctrl Alt Q. You can log out your account with the Alt Shift Q. With the Alt F keys you can search in a web page. If you press the Alt and click on a link, you can open a page in a new tab. You can switch between the tabs with the Ctrl, Shift and Tab keys. And my last tip is that with the Alt comma, you can open the preferences. These were all the useful shortcuts, I am aware of it. If you know another cool shortcut, please share with me in the comment section below. I hope this short video helped you out and you learned something useful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. That would be really appreciated and would help my channel grow. Thank you and see you in the next one.